This is Brad with the ELC. Welcome to the Canvas Intro to Building Workshop video number two. In our first video, we took a look at global settings and notifications, and we learned how to upload your files into Canvas. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Canvas dashboard. We're going to learn how to set the home page that your students will see when they open up your course, and we're going to build some modules. Modules are the backbone of your course in Canvas and are very important. So let's get started. All right, we've got some files uploaded. Let's go back and look at the dashboard for a minute. So click over here on the left-hand user navigation dashboard. And again, as you can see, all of your courses are going to be listed. You should have either one or two sandboxes. And the sandboxes are exactly the same as the course development shells in Blackboard. They're available for you to go in, play around, build your course, and get ready for the fall semester or whatever the next semester may be. One of the things I want to show you here in the dashboard is that color coding in Canvas for various reasons is pretty important. As you can see, you've got a lot of colors that are relatively the same. So you may want to change some of those colors so there's more contrast. And you can do that just by clicking on the little edit button right there and change that course color and apply. And boom, the course color is changed. I'm pretty happy with my course 30. So I'm going to go back into that course and you need to go back into the course that you want to work on. And the first thing I want to show you is how to set up your course home page. The course should open to the home page. If not, then click on home in the upper left hand corner. And over on the right hand side, you see choose home page. Click on that. This dialog box comes up. And for our purposes, we're going to choose the course modules as the home page. You can create a page and choose that as your home page. As you can see here, pages front page would be your choice in that situation. But you would first have to create a page before you set it as the home page. But again, for our purposes, course modules is going to be our home page. Save that. And now when we go into home, we'll go into course modules. We haven't built any modules yet, so obviously there's no content here. Modules are the backbone of your course, and you can build modules in any fashion that you choose. If you teach your course, for instance, according to chapters, then build a module for each chapter. If you teach your course in units, then build a module for each unit. If you teach it in weeks, then build a module for each week. Just like almost everything else in Canvas, in order to add something, all you do is click right here at the plus module. Let's go ahead and build out a couple of modules. Automatically brings your cursor into module name. I'm going to call this week one for my purposes. You have some other options here that we'll get into in other workshops. But for now, just add that module. Let's go ahead and add a few. That's week one. We'll do week two. Week three. Again, you have prerequisites. You have lock until. We'll get into that a little bit later. Couldn't be easier, right? You simply click on plus module and add the module. So now what do you do? So the best thing to do is to start adding your content into your modules. I teach this course in weeks. So in the first week, I want students to see my welcome letter or what I call my getting acquainted. So I'm going to add that to week one. Right over here to the right, just click plus. So you get a drop down menu where you have several choices. You can add an assignment, a quiz, a file, a content page, a discussion, text header, external URL, or an external tool. One thing to make note of in Canvas in regards to grading is that the only things that will add a column to the gradebook is assignment, quiz, or discussion. Those are the only things that are gradable in Canvas. And there's great flexibility within each of those, particularly within assignment. But if you want a column in your gradebook, then you must choose either assignment, quiz, or discussion. But for this purpose, the only thing that I want to do is to bring in a file. So it automatically shows me a list of all the files that I've already uploaded, one of which is my Getting Acquainted. So I'm just going to choose my Getting Acquainted PDF, and I'm going to add it. And there it is. If you click on it, it's going to take me to that page. And one of the good things in Canvas is it's got this viewer, and the viewer opens up 
all content within Canvas for the student. The student can also choose to download it, but they can just simply view it inside Canvas. And this is great for students who want to look at content via their mobile devices. If they're on their phone, on vacation, they don't have to download the PDF to be able to see it. They can just simply view it in Canvas. One of the things that you'll find about Canvas is it is much more geared toward current mobile devices. So there that is. I'm going to go back home, which means I'm going into the modules section. So I added a file to week one. How about we create an assignment in week one? Same thing, you just click the plus sign, choose assignment. I don't have any assignments. If I did, it would list them. So I'm going to have to choose new assignment, and it asks me to choose a name for it. And I'm going to call this vocabulary worksheet. And one of the cool features in Canvas is that you can build a nesting structure with indentions. So I'm going to go ahead and indent this one level to show you what that looks like. Click Add Item. And here we have the assignment Vocabulary Worksheet. It's indented a little bit, so it's nested inside. In order to actually build the assignment, you have to click on the link. And then up here to the right, click Edit. And here's where you really build the assignment. First off, you have the instructions area where you can type in instructions. Read and complete this vocabulary worksheet. But what vocabulary worksheet am I talking about? I don't have a vocabulary worksheet in there. I can add the vocabulary worksheet by simply coming over here to the right hand side. And here is insert content into the page. I can insert a link to something else within Canvas. I can insert a file that is in Canvas by opening up Course Files, my Course Content folder in Week 1. And here's all of my files from Week 1. And I actually do not have a vocabulary worksheet file, but I'm just going to choose that one right there called Orientation Doc. And as you can see, there it is right there. One of the other really strong aspects of Canvas is the ability to add multimedia. And you can do that in several ways. You can add an image. You can add various external tools. And here's a nice big list. You can record and upload your own media. I want to show you how simple this is, however. I'm just going to come out and find a video on YouTube. Let's just grab President Obama's hilariousness. So once you choose your video and it opens up in this window, you have this option right down here called Share. So click on that and it automatically populates right here with the link to this video. Since it's already highlighted, all you have to do is Control C to copy it. Come back into Canvas and Control V and hit Enter. And when you see this YouTube logo, you know that it will embed this video once you finish the assignment. So we'll see what that looks like in just a moment. As we scroll on down, you can assign the number of points, let's say 100. Assignment group, and this is important in regards to grades. A group is like a category in the Blackboard gradebook. So if you've had categories like tests and homework assignments and papers, and each of those counted a certain percentage toward the student's final grade, then that would be the same thing as groups in Canvas. If you want to create a new group, you just click New Group. I'm going to go ahead and leave this as the Assignments group. You can choose how to display the grade, percentage, points, complete, incomplete, letter grade, GPA scale, or no grade. And Submission Type. Now this one is very important. This drop-down menu gives you no submission, online, on paper, or external tool. Let's go ahead and choose online for our purposes. And that opens up another set of options. You can choose text entry where the student will simply enter it into a text box in Canvas. You can tell the student to build something in a website and submit it via that. Or media recording where the student does a media recording and uploads it into Canvas. Or a file upload such as a paper in Word format or PDF. I'm going to choose file upload. And here's what I think is one of the greatest little tools in Canvas. Restrict upload file types. So if I click on that, I can say the only thing that I want is doc, space, docx, space, or PDF. 
and that is the only thing the student will be able to upload, which is really cool. If you want to make it a group assignment, you can do so. If you want to require peer reviews, you can do so or allow moderated grading, you can do so. Who you assign it to, everyone in the class, and it's really important to set a due date. Just click on the calendar icon, choose your due date. I'm gonna say May 23rd. You can also set the time. It defaults to the end of the day, but you can change that, let's say, two o'clock p.m., which is the class time. You can also set availability if you choose. I'm not gonna do that right now, and let's save that. So now when we go back into our module, oh, look at that. There you see the thumbnail for the YouTube video that we placed in there. So if I go back to home into our modules, here we have vocabulary worksheet. Okay, that's it for video number two. Be sure and check out video number three. We're going to talk about some important things such as how your students navigate through your course and how you can control that by setting up the course navigation menu that the students will see. Thanks for watching. Always remember that the ELC is here to help you with this transition to Canvas. Send us an email, give us a call, or attend one of our Canvas workshops. Have a good day.